While they may all look similar, different nails have different characteristics designed for a specific job. For example, there are different nail head types to consider. The common flat head offers a large striking surface and solid holding power, so it's ideal for sheathing and insulation. Checkered flatheads are textured to prevent slippage, making them a good choice for framing. The conical design of a countersunk head works great for finishing jobs because it can be pushed below the surface and covered up with putty for a smooth finish. Cupped heads are often used for drywall because their concave shape makes them very easy to conceal. There are also different nail points. The most common is a diamond point, good for general use. There are also long diamond points that work well with drywall and hard material, and blunt points used to reduce the chances of splitting wood but are more difficult to drive. Nails also come with different shanks, or body types. Nails with smooth shanks are ideal for everyday use. Barbed shanks have a herringbone pattern for use on hard woods. Ringed shanks hold well on soft and medium woods, while fluted shanks, with their vertical threads, are great for cinder blocks and other masonry structures. The size of a nail is classified in a rather unusual way. Let's break it down. The length of a nail from its head to the tip of the point is defined as penny, which is represented by the letter D. Two penny or 2D nails are one inch long, and subsequent penny sizes are measured in quarter inch increments up to 10D. After 10D, it gets a little trickier, so refer to this chart to compare penny size measurements to inches. Gauge is another nail measurement. Gauge indicates how thick a nail is. Nails serve all kinds of purposes, which is why there are so many different kinds. Let's go over some of the most common types. Underlayment nails are used to fasten particle board, plywood, and subflooring over existing wood floors or joist. Hard cut flooring or hard DS flooring nails are good for installing and securing flooring. Hard cut masonry and hard fluted masonry nails can be used to secure wood framing or furring strips into brick, block, or concrete. Common nails, box nails, and sinkers are popular choices for framing and general construction. Duplex nails are easy to remove, so they're great for temporary construction. Roofing and shingle nails typically have a larger head and heavier gauge, ideal for roofing and exterior home projects. For carpentry work, bright finish and bright casing nails are easy to conceal in trim work. Also, consider any additional features, like rust-resistant finishes or protective guards to keep your knuckles safe. Now that we've nailed down the details, you're ready for your next project. And thank you for shopping at the Home Depot.